this question is love your partner in such a way that they feel free to come and go as they please. So it doesn't mean that because I oftentimes when I talk about this, I see in the comments people are thinking, oh, you're just telling your girlfriend to go and sleep with other dudes. It's like this is kind of the dating process. And when you're dating somebody that is probably dating other people, you're dating other people you just met, you first start going out. It's like you have to let them come and go and make it so it's their choice to come and spend time with you. In other words, you're happy if they choose to spend time with you, but you're just as happy if they choose to spend time somewhere else because if they spend time with somebody else, then you get to spend time doing something that's fun because, again, that's your choice. So that's what – because love is an act. Love is giving. There's no attachment to it. It's like you're loving and giving to that person because you want them to be happy. You want them to feel supported. You want to f- want them to feel like you love and you care about them. So you're doing it in a way because you just simply want to see them smile. You want to see them happy and know that your contribution made them happy. Well, I would say that loving your partner in such a way that they feel free means – not being their keeper. And I think that a lot of men get agitated by women that want to know their whereabouts all the time and tell them what to do because that mimics their mother or their older sister or their teachers or, you know, whoever. And then that takes away the whole attraction. They're no longer a a hot sexual being. Now they're their, their mom. And, you don't want to become their mom. You want to do your own thing. You're going to be more attractive if you have your own life and you have your own interests. And uh, like Corey always says, um, what is the thing about um, the quickest way to get someone's attention is to remove yours. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're caught up in your own thing, they're going to be wondering what you're doing. So, the best thing to do when you're in a relationship, Good advice especially, for Jocelyn. especially in the beginning of a relationship, is not to be their keeper. Like, like you live your life, they live theirs, and then that way you guys are always curious, wonder what the other person's doing. It keeps the, the excitement going, you know? If you're in one of those codependent relationships where you're tracking each other, it's just doomed to failure, in my opinion. It's just weird. You know, a guy doesn't want to marry his mom. Very often he does. But. Mm-hmm. And a woman doesn't want to become his mom. I've, I've done that. In my marriage, I became a mother because I was dealing with a toddler. But um, <laughs> um, a now, facial expression. now I know that that's not the way to be. <laughs> the toddler's with a toddler. <laughs> but, you know. That's not the way to be, and that's not attractive. He's not going to be attracted to you if you're telling him what to do and where to be and tracking his every move and vice versa. Got to let them be free. You shouldn't be bound to each other. Yeah, you're in a relationship, but everyone has their own individuality. When you got with that person, you liked who they were or you love who they were. So why take that away from them? Yeah, let them keep their interests but I think jealousy is what comes in mm-hmm. most of the time. Wouldn't you say? Jealousy is what ruins this whole thing about freedom. Well, jealousy comes from an attachment. And attachment comes from basically wanting to control somebody. And why would you want to control somebody? The only reason you want to control somebody is because you don't feel like they're going to want to stick around of their own free will. So it's out of fear. Yeah. So you, you know, behind anger is always fear. So people that get angry and upset, the jealous boyfriend, you didn't call me, you didn't do what you said you were going to do, or I was expecting this, and there's anger. Well, if you look, what what is behind the anger? It's always fear. Typically, we got two primary fears. Fear that we won't be loved and accepted by our friends, our family, our peer group, the girl that wants us to love, love us, I should say. And fear that we're not enough. In other words, fear that we don't have what it takes Mm -hmm. to succeed or to achieve the things that we want. So would you say that controlling uh, women or controlling men are actually fearful? Yeah, they're like scared little boys. You're going to leave me anyways. You don't love me. 
You don't think I'm good enough. So they, if they, they feel like they can control her. She'll stay. Mm. Okay. That comes from a, well, initially the women typically interpret that as, wow, he's very masculine. He's very strong. But in reality, it turns out he's very weak because he doesn't feel worthy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And eventually, you know, she leaves him typically after he becomes a stalker and acts weird and controlling yeah. and freaky. That's a red flag to look out for. Oh, for yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. 